What, what the? Wait, okay. What the fuck? What was that? What was? What is that sound? Is that a snake? It was definitely the scariest thing in my life. The fourth grader and his family were exploring a well-known hiking trail when an unfortunate incident occurred. Jacob was bitten on the leg by a Western Diamondback rattlesnake, similar to the one depicted here. I got bit by a rattlesnake and it fucking hurts. In the vast deserts and arid landscapes of the American Southwest, a silent predator lurks, feared for its deadly bite and chilling rattle. Welcome to the terrifying and deadly Western Diamondback rattlesnake bite. In this video, we delve into the world of one of nature's most formidable creatures, the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. From its physical prowess to its potent venom, we'll uncover the truth behind this notorious serpent. Join us as we explore the habitat, behavior, and dangers posed by these elusive reptiles. But beware, for the stories we share are not for the faint of heart. Prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of darkness, where the line between life and death is as thin as a serpent's fang. Let's start by examining the physical characteristics of the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. These formidable reptiles are renowned for their distinctive appearance, which sets them apart from other snake species. With an average length of 3 to 5 feet, and some specimens reaching lengths of up to 7 feet, these serpents command attention with their imposing size. Their scales feature a range of earthy tones, including shades of brown, tan, and gray, providing camouflage amidst the desert terrain. But it's their iconic diamond-shaped markings that truly define them. These dark, diamond-shaped patterns running along their back serve as a warning to potential predators and prey alike, signaling their presence and their readiness to defend themselves if provoked. When threatened, Western Diamondback rattlesnakes adopt a defensive pasture, coiling their bodies and rattling their tails as a warning sign. It's a sight that strikes fear into the hearts of even the most seasoned desert dwellers. In the harsh and unforgiving environment of the American Southwest, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake reigns supreme, a true marvel of evolution and adaptation. Now, let's delve into the lethal arsenal possessed by the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. It's venom and fangs. These serpents wield a potent cocktail of toxins designed to incapacitate their prey and deter potential threats. At the heart of their formidable weaponry are a pair of hollow fangs connected to venom glands located in the upper jaw. When the rattlesnake strikes, these fangs act like hypodermic needles, injecting venom into their target with remarkable precision. The venom itself is a complex mixture of enzymes, proteins, and peptides tailored to disrupt the prey's physiological functions. It's a potent brew that can induce paralysis, tissue necrosis, and even systemic effects in larger animals. For smaller creatures, a single bite from a western diamondback rattlesnake can spell certain death. But even larger animals, including humans, are not immune to the devastating effects of their venom. Throughout history, rattlesnake bites have been feared and revered with various cultures developing treatments and remedies to counteract their deadly effects. Yet, despite advancements in modern medicine, a rattlesnake bite remains a medical emergency requiring prompt attention. As we venture deeper into the realm of the Western Diamondback rattlesnake, one thing becomes abundantly clear respect for these creatures is not just advisable, it's essential for survival. In the harsh and unforgiving terrain of the desert, Survival is a relentless battle for sustenance. For the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, hunting is both an art and a science, honed over millennia of evolution. These masterful predators employ a variety of hunting techniques to secure their next meal. From stealthy ambushes to patient stalking, they use their keen senses to detect the slightest movements of potential prey. When the moment is right, the rattlesnake strikes with lightning speed sinking its fangs into the flesh of its victim. With deadly precision, it delivers a potent dose of venom, ensuring a swift and efficient kill. Once the prey is incapacitated, the rattlesnake wastes no time in consuming its meal. With unhinging jaws and powerful muscles, it swallows its prey whole, digesting even the toughest of prey items with ease. Their diet consists primarily of small mammals such as rodents, rabbits, and ground-dwelling birds. However, their opportunistic feeders 
and will not hesitate to strike at any suitable prey that crosses their path. For the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, every hunt is a testament to its remarkable adaptability and resourcefulness. In the unforgiving world of the desert, only the most skilled predators can thrive. When it comes to survival in the harsh desert landscape, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is a master of self-preservation. Through a combination of warning signals and defensive pastures, these serpents command respect from all who encounter them. Their most iconic defense mechanism is, without a doubt, their rattle. Composed of interlocking segments of keratin, the rattlesnake's tail produces a distinctive buzzing sound when vibrated, serving as a clear warning to potential threats. When confronted, Western Diamondback rattlesnakes adopt a defensive posture, coiling their bodies and raising their heads in preparation for a potential strike. It's a sight that strikes fear into the hearts of predators and humans alike. If provoked or threatened, these serpents will not hesitate to defend themselves with a swift and venomous strike. However, their primary goal is not aggression, but self-preservation, and they will often retreat to safety if given the opportunity. In the intricate dance of predator and prey, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake commands a position of respect, using its arsenal of defensive tactics to navigate the perilous world of the desert. Yet. Despite their fearsome reputation, these serpents are not malicious creatures, but simply survivors in a harsh and unforgiving environment. A fourth grade student had an intriguing tale to recount after being bitten by a western diamondback rattlesnake while hiking along this trail with friends and family. This will be so easy to memorize, right? Jacob Turner returned home and spent time with friends. We're gonna attach it, right? Which was quite significant given the ordeal the 10-year-old had just experienced. It was definitely the scariest thing in my life. The fourth grader and his family were exploring a well-known hiking trail when an unfortunate incident occurred. Jacob was bitten on the leg by a western diamondback rattlesnake, similar to the one depicted here. I heard the rattle, I jumped, and then it bit me when I, um, when I was almost on the ground, not yet, I was just coming down from the jump. We just saw him running. The other kids were kind of down the river. So I think we just um, didn't know what to think until we saw the blood and the two puncture wounds, and then it hit us. Okay, we gotta get help. This footage shows the rescue helicopter that airlifted Jacob to Phoenix Children's Hospital after he was bitten by a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. At the hospital, he received 28 vials of anti-venom. Initially, Jacob mentioned that the snake bite didn't cause much pain but later he began to feel weak as the pain intensified. The swelling from the bite extended from his ankle to his lower back. When I got to the hospital, it was uh, swelling a lot, and it was swelling quickly. They were taking measurements about every hour, so I could never sleep for two days. Jacob remained hospitalized for four days, and it was over a week before he regained the ability to walk independently. We need the other bags, Ben. The brave 10-year-old has now made a full recovery, but isn't quite ready to go hiking again. Right now, I'm not going to hike for a while, but once I'm ready to, I'll definitely be able to watch out for snakes. Encounters between humans and western diamondback rattlesnakes are not uncommon, especially in regions where their habitats overlap. Understanding how to avoid these encounters and what to do if bitten is crucial for ensuring the safety of both humans and snakes alike. Ah! Ah! What, what the? Wait, okay. What the fuck? What was that? What, was, what is that sound? Is that a snake? Consider the harrowing experience of one woman enjoying a leisurely outdoor activity with a friend, only to be struck by a Western Diamondback rattlesnake's venomous bite. Uh, go, go, go and find out what the first aid is for a snake bite. Go, 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 I'm trying to snake. Her friend's swift action in seeking medical attention undoubtedly saved her life. From rushing to find first aid to navigating the chaotic streets en route to the hospital, every second counted in the race against the venom coursing through her veins. Ah, come on! Oh, God, it hurts so bad! At the hospital, the gravity of the situation became apparent as medical professionals administered life-saving anti-venom. 
The agonizing wait as she battled the effects of the venom, from pain to itching, served as a stark reminder of the importance of seeking immediate medical attention. To avoid such encounters, it's essential to remain vigilant while hiking or spending time in snake-prone areas. Keep an eye out for warning signs such as rattling sounds or sudden movements and give snakes a wide berth if encountered. I feel like my hand is being eaten by rabbits and ants. In the event of a snake bite, remember to stay calm and seek medical help immediately. Apply a pressure bandage and immobilize the affected limb to slow the spread of venom, but never attempt to suck out the venom or apply a tourniquet. This story serves as a sobering reminder of the delicate balance between humans and wildlife in our shared ecosystems. As we explore the conservation status of these majestic serpents, it becomes clear that their survival is under threat. I look like Popeye. Huh? I look like Popeye. Yes, you do. In the wilderness, where humans and wildlife intersect, conflicts can arise with potentially deadly consequences. The encounter between the lady and the western diamondback rattlesnake highlights the risks faced by both parties in these interactions. Guess how much it costs, the whole build? American healthcare? Yeah. There's no... There's no yeah, get it's it all private out there, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. $3,000. $3,000? No. No, way more. How much? 10000 $140,000. Okay, no. Yeah. You're joking. No. But it's not just individual encounters that pose a threat to the survival of Western diamondback rattlesnakes. Habitat loss, driven by urbanization and agricultural expansion, diminishes the available space for these creatures to thrive. Furthermore, misconceptions and fears surrounding rattlesnakes often lead to their persecution with many falling victim to indiscriminate killing or intentional eradication efforts. Despite these challenges, there is hope on the horizon. Conservation organizations and wildlife advocates are working tirelessly to protect Western Diamondback rattlesnakes and their habitats. But they can't do it alone. It's up to each of us to take action and support conservation efforts in our communities. Together, we can ensure a future where humans and rattlesnakes coexist in harmony. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on wildlife conservation and exploration. Together, let's make a difference for the creatures that share our planet. I got bit by a rattlesnake.